Well, today we are uh, in the company of a rock legend himself. Roger yes. Waters? No, you. We, no, we're talking about you, sir. Mr. Joe Elliott, Def Leppard. How are you? Welcome to Sports Vibe TV. Thank you. And uh, we, are, we are primarily a sports website, although we do dabble with music. So we're going to start with sport, which I know is... Which close, I dabble in. <laughs> close to your heart. Close to your heart. And then we'll move on to uh, all things Def Leppard. And... Um, this is a bit of an admission, I know, but you are indeed a blade, aren't you? Yes, unfortunately. And we just got relegated to the girls' league. Well, you're Third looking tier. okay about it. You're looking all right about it. Well, I, I'm resigned to it since Christmas, so it's like it was inevitable. There was this chink of light where we beat Leeds and then we won away from home at Reading, I think it was. And you're thinking, all right, we could get out of this, but then, of course, they went and blew it, as usual. So, and it's what really is, is Warnock takes up QPR and we go down to the third tier. But at least there'll be a local derby next season. <laughs> well, yes, we'll get on to that. Now, um, it may not have been the best few years for Sheffield United, but, uh, I mean, this is a new depth, isn't it, that, that your team's plum plummeted It's to. just terrible. I mean, three years ago, we were playing Arsenal and beating them 1-0. You now, were, yeah. Were you at that game? Yes, I was. So was I. So was Sean B. Yeah, I was sat behind Tony Curry. Ah, and, uh, the great Tony Curry. Was, yeah, indeed. Who looks a little bit like you. Uh, I look a little bit like he used <laughs> okay. to. Well. You've modelled yourself Probably on Tony have, Curry. Actually, yeah, I used to wear my shirt out when I played soccer and socks down like he did. Okay. But, um, yeah, I was sat behind Tony and, you know, we were, couldn't believe it. We, we actually held them off. And, in fact, Jagielka, we ended up selling to Everton and ended up going in the goal because Paddy Kenny got injured. Um, Happy days. It was, yeah, it was, you know, it was, a good, it was a good time. In fact, that was the last time I went because I never got the chance to go after that. And then once we got relegated, I was like, just didn't fancy it anymore. And so now, it's your fault. It's your fault. Now, you're, the, you're the lucky mascot, Joe. Yeah, now we've got, I don't know, not Dagenham and Redbridge, but we've got teams like Yeovil or, you know. Yeah. Or even worse, Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, well, that's that I'm quite looking forward to. But, um, you know, at least it'll be a sellout at both hills around Bramall Lane. It, it will be. Now, be good. But it's now, the rest of the games. That are, yeah. If we don't get straight back up, we might as well just jack it in. <laughs> just, just jack in the whole yeah, thing. Just, just throw it away. Padlock uh, Bramall Lane. Turn into like Accrington Stanley did, just disappear for 40 years. No, at least you're playing Wednesday, which means that you and your uh, uh, big mate, Rick Savage, otherwise known universally as Sav, He's an owl. He is indeed. Which means that you two can have proper banter, if nothing else. Yeah, yeah. There'll be that awful kind of, you know, twice a year, like pretending that we don't hate each other for 90 minutes, you know, or, or, or actually hate each other for 90 minutes, you know, in a jovial sort of way. Um, no doubt we'll be doing something. We won't be in the same room, so it'll all be text messages, or we'll be on tour trying to listen to it on some foreign website or something, you know. Uh, unless it's on telly. If it's on telly, I can get it on my sling box and I can actually watch it. Well, it might be, but it's a bit, you know, it's Div 1 now, isn't it? Yeah, but they still have those games on Friday nights. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, and there'll be big, big crowds, <laughs> won't they? Because if nothing else, Sheffield always pulls in the crowds. Yeah, th those, those games are always going to be, you know, well attended. It's just the scary stuff like, you know, Chesterfield will be another decent, you know, we, I mean, we all, if Rotherham had got promoted, we'd have been playing them as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. Now, did it Sav have trials actually with, Sheffield ironically, United? Sheffield United? Yeah, 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 he did. He actually, he was, he was uh, an apprentice there for a couple of years. Yeah. Oh. He was, a, he was a, an owl through and through, but Wednesday didn't want to sign him, but United did. So, of course, as a 15, 14 year old kid, you're not going to say no. no. But then it went all wrong and he, he joined yeah, he a like mega it. rock group instead. Yeah, he didn't like it. I think he's kind of glad of it because at, at the age he's at now, he can still rock. Yeah. He wouldn't be able to play football. <laughs> I can't see a 50-year-old David Beckham running around on a, on a premiership pitch. Probably not. But we're no. still doing premiership gigs. If you, you, know you, I mean. are, you, you are fair play to you guys. 30 years young. And you're finally going to produce your first live album. It's yeah. called Mirable. Correct. It's out on June the 20th. Uh, I suggest that, how do you play this? Loud, I guess, in a large room. Well, you know, the thing is, we're very clever. You can play it quiet and it'll sound loud because we've always been about sonics. If you, if you do things loud, they'll always sound good loud, but when you turn them down, they won't necessarily sound any good. If you do them quiet, 
and you can get it to sound great on small speakers, it's always going to sound good loud. So we've always worked quietly to produce loud noises, if you like. Fantastic. Because you've got control of your sound. Yeah. But it is a good, it's a good collection. It's two CDs, one DVD, 21 live tracks, I think. Yeah. Uh, four, three brand new songs. Yeah. Studio recordings. And then a 40 minute kind of fly on the wall documentary mixed in with some live footage yeah. and two promo videos from the previous album. There's and you've got a book as well, I think, coming out as well. Lives. There's the coffee table book of yeah. Ross Alfin photos coming out yeah. on the 15th of June, I think, which is like a greatest hits package of photos. Yeah. It's, he, t he came to Sheffield Crooks Worker Men's Club. I think it was like the eighth or ninth gig we ever played. You played it there, did you? And he came. Did you play there as Def Leppard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. How many people in the audience? 150, maybe. And they right. were all grannies and granddads. So yeah. It was just a gig. But, you know, we had Jeff Barton from Sounds. We finally dragged him up the M1. And he, the, Ross was the assigned photographer for, for Sounds magazine. And then he became our photographer over the years. Mm. So from 79 up to 2008, 2009, there's pictures in every single era. With mullet, without mullet. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> um, ripped jeans, normal jeans, flares, spandex, you name it. Whatever crime, fashion crime we committed, they're in the book. Fantastic. And actually... The more you see them, the more they're okay. Yeah. You know, the, the longer the period between then and now, the more it's like, well, it's just a period thing, you know. It's Joe, you can get it. Everybody's got a history. You're a rock star, you can get away with anything, yeah. hey? I wouldn't wear them again. Uh, yeah. Maybe not, no, maybe not. Did. But uh, let me tell you something, well. I mean, you must be very, I mean, despite everything you've achieved, 30 plus years on, you must be really excited about what you're about to do. You've just gone through everything. You've also got so, a couple of big gigs in, uh, in Belfast and Dublin, and then we've also got the, uh, the festival as well. I mean, presumably the, the juices are still flowing. Well, they are, because we took a year off. Um, we, we, we basically haven't done a gig since September 2009. Um, we'd been on the road for five years, and it was time to stop. It really was. I, I was getting to the point where I was going to start screaming, going, I can't do this anymore. So before it got to that kind of situation, we decided we're going to take 2010 off the road. It didn't mean we weren't working, because come September of 2010, we were mixing this record, we were recording the new songs, we were approving the book. We were, going, we were doing a lot of things under the radar that need to be done ready for this year and that kind of thing. Plus, we'd all had time to do other things. Um, I did some Thin Lizzy remixes with Scott Gore and Vivian joined Thin Lizzy for six months. I did the Down and Outs album, did a couple of festivals and, and stuff with those guys. Uh, and I just did a two-week tour with Paul Rogers around Britain with the Down and Outs as well. So I kind of nursing myself back into the yeah. touring thing. But yeah, the juices are still flowing because I just love music. You know, I mean, I'm DJing on Planet Rock. There's all sorts of things that I've got my little pink pinkies in and, you know, all these little pies on the go. Side projects, main projects, all sorts of stuff. I, I love music. I get excited by it. But it was just great to get away from the live environment so you can come back in with, like, recharged batteries. You ever played Bramall Lane? No, only football. I've played there. Have I you? actually played there. You I played scored? Tony Curry's testimonial. Scored a goal? I did score a goal there uh, at the cop end as well. That was in a testimonial for this poor, there's some guy got, he, he died. Some young kid died and they put a, they did, they put a charity game on to raise some money for his family and, and I actually scored at the cop end. Did you really? But I played in Tony Curry's testimonial with George Best. Did you? In 1986, and he passed to me and I passed back to him oh. just so I could tell my grandkids that I had. Um, I was playing for the Dennis Waterman Celebrity 11, that's how I managed to wangle my way into yeah. that one. But there was Georgie Best and Frank Worthington, there were some great people. All the legends. So 65 million albums sold worldwide, two albums that have sold over 10 million in the, in the US, and you've played in a Tony Curry team, scored at Bramall Lane, and done a one-two of George Best. Yeah. You can die happy. I can, absolutely. It's, it's, you know, there's been a few moments like that where you do mad things. I mean, I got up on stage with Mott the Hoople, my favourite band, when we opened for him. Four nights out of five, I got up and did all the young dudes. And the one night I didn't get up, Ian Hunter went nuts and said, where the hell were you? You know, I said, I wanted to watch it from out front for once. Well, don't do it again. I mean, I've had some great moments, you know, doing Time of the Nam with Queen at the Freddie Mercury show in 92. You know, things... The, uh, leopard related ish or I wouldn't have been able to do them had I not been in Def Leppard even the football thing it wouldn't have meant anything had I not no. been in a band from Sheffield I wouldn't have got to play in that game but you know there was 18,000 people in Tony's testimony as well <laughs> my mum and dad were there watching it was, it was and you scored, you scored I presume it was a 30 yard screamer into the top corner of the net 
Um, well, it is, it was, it is that, now. It was a different game. That was a, this was the one for the, the kid that passed away. But um, it was there was nobody in to watch this one hardly. But it was a, a pass from Keith Edwards, and it was a screamer from about 18 yards. Was it? Yeah. So Happy that days. was okay. Well, listen, Joe, pleasure meeting you today. Lots of good stories. Um, good luck for Sheffield United next year. Yeah, we're going to need it. Yeah, hope they bounce back up. More importantly, good luck uh, for June, for the tour, for the album, for the book, for the multi-project that Def Leppard are about <laughs> to hit the world with. Yeah. And uh, Thank you. we'll catch up with you soon. Absolutely.